We will have a terrific relationship, I have no doubt. Tonight, growing signs that President Trump's enormous personal gamble on Kim Jong-un is in serious trouble. Diplomacy is going nowhere. Tensions are rising, reflected in a letter in recent days sent to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo by Kim's top spy master and henchman, Kim Yong-chol. Sources telling CNN the letter said denuclearization talks, quote, may fall apart, a letter that, when Pompeo showed it to Trump, according to the Washington Post, prompted the president to cancel Pompeo's scheduled trip to Pyongyang. It's now pretty clear the North Koreans do not intend to denuclearize. Since Trump's June 12th summit with Kim, North Korea's not only failed to cut back its nuclear weapons, there are strong indications it's pressed ahead with the program, producing more nuclear and missile material. A clear sign, analysts say, that the president may have been played by the young dictator and has oversold what he got in Singapore. He did not end the nuclear program in North Korea. He, he hung it all on his relationship with Kim Jong-un as if it were a real estate deal in New Jersey. Um, he didn't pay attention to the history. He didn't pay attention to the negotiating record. He assumed that every Democrat and Republican administration before him was just dumb. He oversold it. Right now for signing. Even today, well, thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. As the fallout today from that harsh letter from the North Koreans first, continued, uh, country, President Trump was still upbeat. Americans. I think we're doing well with North Korea. We'll have to see. I have a fantastic relationship with Chairman Kim, as you probably know. One veteran diplomat sees that optimism as dangerous. It uh, not only inflates expectations, raises expectations about where we are with respect to North Korea, uh, it steers the American people and our allies and partners and the international community in the wrong direction. Uh, the constant insistence that everything is, is on track with respect to North Korea uh, defies the reality of the situation that we're dealing with right now. Tonight, as the uncertainty grows, the U.S. military, which had suspended three previous military exercises with South Korea, said no decisions have been made about future exercises. Analysts say the pressure is now growing on the Trump administration to show some results, to show that Kim's regime is taking this seriously. They need to provide a declaration of all their nuclear holdings, weapons, plutonium, uranium, and the list of facilities that they have, including the covert facilities that they have. Uh, the North Koreans will be very reluctant and may reject that idea out of hand. If they do, experts say, it's time for Trump and his allies to ramp up sanctions on Kim and even take them to a new level.